Hello, hello, you people in YouTube land. How do you do? We are along Teluk Ai Street today, going to a Teluk Ai coffee shop to try some food over there. So at this coffee shop that we have been to before, we are going to come here to try some vegetarian food at the Teluk Ai coffee shop which is over here. So why don't you join me as I come in here to have some vegetarian food at Veggie 121 which is in there Oh! Hi! Yes, so this is future me I'm contacting you from the future Yes, future me here So, let's talk a bit about vegetarian food in Southeast Asia because or maybe Asia in specifically because in Asia, there are certain religions, certain cultures where they are vegetarian. You know, so like I think in India, you know, there are people who eat vegetarian and they make vegetarian food with lots of spices, you know, and curries and stuff. Or Chinese uh, culture, there is Buddhism and some Buddhists are vegetarian, so they eat vegetarian food. So we are coming to this shop here which sells Chinese vegetarian food. So what they do here is they make mock versions of the local favorite hawker fairs, you know, that you know sometimes if you become vegetarian, you know, certain dishes you can't eat because of uh, you are being vegetarian and the the main feature of that dish is meat. You know, so in this place here they do make versions of that and I don't know in how it is like in Western countries but I know that you like to eat salads you know you will have shops that sell vegan food vegetarian food but the food is slightly different than what they sell in Asian countries and I do not know who does it better but you know a lot of vegetarians in Asian countries they are like my shape yeah so either you know, I do not know who makes vegetarian food better, but I think one culture may enjoy the vegetarian food taste better than other culture. I mean, just my opinion. But, yeah, so I'm going to go to this shop here and show you some of the dishes they have here, where uh, is, you know, the original version use meats or animal products, but they do it similarly using maybe soy flour, tofu, you know, bean curd, and make it where it tastes slightly similar, but the texture wise has a texture of meat and also tastes a bit like the meat. So, these are what I'm going to try at this shop here that we're going to Veggie 121. So, yep, let's go back to the past and let me show you what I ate on this side here. Or this side. I don't know which side. It's one of the sides here. Yeah. So during lunchtime, this store is popular. There are queues for this vegetarian stall. And if you come here, you can see the menu on top there. Also, another interesting thing is that you see the bottom menu. It shows the day of the week. And on certain days, they have certain menu items. Not all days have they sell every single item on the menu. So the name of the store is called Veggie One Two One. So this is part of the menu they sell. This is the other part. And this is the schedule. So on certain days, they only sell certain of the food. So let's start our mock meal journey with this dish called the Kuei Chap. For those of you who know Singaporean hawker fare food that they sell in hawker centers, Kuei Chap is a dish you can get there. So basically, you get flat white noodles in a broth. The broth here seasoned with I think the braising sauce and what they braise in the sauce is like uh, parts of the pig. And then here you also have a small bowl of thing, braised vegetables and then over there you have the mock kuei chap which looks similar, looks similar in the... But how does it taste? Does it taste like a kuei chap? Well, we just have to taste it and see. But what we do have in here is the flat rice noodles. 
in the broth together with tofu with deep fried shallots on top and this is supposed to be the intestines yep so the broth here look looks similar looks very similar just that the ingredients is just slightly different there is no meat in here it's all tofu and other stuff and let's taste the soup Yes, the soup. Okay, okay. The soup does taste like the what you get from uh, kuay chap, just that it's slightly more peppery. And then the noodles and other items there, like these rice noodles. Uh, I think the rice noodles is authentic. They do. Have, you can get the rice noodles at other places like this. Just that it's a bit too tough. A bit too thick than tofu. Yeah, tofu just like tofu. Okay, this is the intestine. Oh, strange, strange, strange. What you get is on the first bite, the first initial bite, the texture is very, very similar to intestine, uh, biting into the intestine. Just that flavor wise, it doesn't taste like it. It tastes more like a tougher, tougher fish cake. But other than that, I must say, it tastes interesting. Okay, then you get the vegetables. You don't normally get these vegetables when you, you eat with chop. I think it's some kind of like a braised mustard leaf, but a bit bland, not much flavor to it. And then there's some peanuts in there. A bit bland in flavor and then yeah okay so my opinion of this dish here uh not my favorite honestly honestly not my favorite it reminds me a bit of kuih chap especially the intestine part when you first bite into it but other than that it is not really that uh, flavorful a bit plain a bit plain in flavor but yeah, so if you do come here, I think this kuay chap may not be for everyone and not something that I would try, uh, would come here to try again. But as you saw the menu, there are many, many other dishes to try and I'll be back to try some of the other dishes. Yes, future me again. That dish there. Uh, if this was the first dish I tried at this place, other places I wouldn't go back the place again because the dish wasn't that good but since this place has a long queue and it's vegetarian I thought there are so many other dishes there I might as well give it a try so yeah let's see the next dish I tried there hopefully 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 it tastes better than what I had now just now in the past then yeah and up next the next dish I tried from the store is this dish which is the uh, nasi birani. Yes, birani. <laughs> uh, yeah. You don't normally find birani in a vegetarian store. So I thought, oh, this is interesting. This is something different. I definitely need to give it a try. So, yep, this is it. They are nasi birani. Can you believe it? They make nasi birani. So on the side there you can see is the mock chicken meat in a curry together with potato. I think the crispy parts instead of papadam, they use uh, deep fried wonton skins. There's some broccoli and in the rice, which is actually basmati rice. They have raisins and even walnut in there. Yep. So this looks promising. Ooh, look at that. That's the mock chicken meat. And I must say, the texture it does have a texture of eating chicken meat just that it's slightly a mixture between chicken meat and maybe fish cake but it's definitely a good basmati rice i do like the basmati rice and the curry they use it here is also tasty really good i like the curry then together with the deep fried uh, wonton skins mm, give it a crunch 
texture exactly like Papa Dum, just exactly firmer than Papa Dum. And I must say, I am actually enjoying this. This one is actually quite tasty, quite yummy. The curry, the chicken curry here, uh, good, quite nice. Has the right amount of spice, the right amount of flavor, a bright amount of uh, spices in there. To definitely not a, a Indian curry, but most more more akin to a Chinese chicken curry flavor. But goes very well with the basmati rice and the basmati rice here is nice i do like the extra hint of raisin and walnut inside the rice there which is quite nice quite good this is one of the better uh, dishes that you can get from here but it's only available once a week so if you do want to eat this this one here pretty decent i'm actually quite enjoying it quite tasty quite nice and even though it's not exactly like nasi birani but it is very similar and it is not say very similar it is similar but not exactly the same but a good and tasty vegetarian version that people who like you know who miss birani can eat this and can say it's good so yes i was actually surprised how much i enjoyed the vegetarian nasi birani it is quite yummy and finally next to this store the vegetarian store is an actual store that sells nasi birani that's what they concentrate and selling nasi birani uh, the store you can you can see on my side here yeah um i think they cost you eight dollars for their nasi birani their nasi birani how do i say this the mutton i tried the mutton one the mutton was soft and tender the curry on the mutton is nice and yummy then the rice of the birani also tasty but somehow the rice and the birani didn't pair well together somehow i don't know why it just uh, individually those two dishes tasty by itself but together didn't complement each other very well but anyway let's get back to the vegetarian food <laughs> Another thing they do sell is they sell mixed rice. So basically you have rice and you have different types of dishes that you can choose from at the counter there and you eat it together with rice. So a few vegetarian dishes, a few mock meat dishes available for you to choose and eat. So the price range for it around 3 to $4 for 3 items depending on what items you choose. So I ordered a few items here like some tofu some a long bean and also a mock chicken curry and I eat it together with rice uh, overall quite decent uh, price wise quite similar to what you will pay in this area here for mixed rice uh, not the most expensive also not the cheapest but quite good price uh, quality wise quite tasty quite nice um, if you do like mixed rice you want to eat vegetarian version this is a good place to come and get it and finally, we are back again. This time, we are having a nasi lemak. Yes, nasi lemak. This is their nasi lemak, vegetarian style. And so, as you can see, on top of the plate is the sambal. The sambal chili is very similar to the sambal chili you get from a nasi lemak. Very exactly the same. Then the, the other ingredients there at the bottom there, which is slightly different, which are all vegetarian friendly. So. You have on the top there acha peanuts and then on my right there is supposed to replace the ikan bilis which is actually deep fried enoki mushrooms then at the bottom there right under the enoki mushrooms is the supposed to be a piece of fish and then luncheon meat underneath the leaf the lettuce is the rice the coconut rice so this here is the nasi lemak i find the most interesting is this which they replace the ikan bilis which is actually deep fried enoki mushrooms yep so that will give you the crunch from the ikan bilis not exactly the same crunch but uh, a stimulation of that a estimation of it yep so i'm going to dig in here let's try the rice and see how it tastes oh okay definitely a coconut rice 
and then the sambal chili ah uh, yeah that is definitely a sambal chili definitely a nasi lemak sambal chili which is nice okay. and then the ikan bilis or the enoki mushroom mm, it's okay just that it's not exactly ikan bilis texture or taste then you have the achar which is sour a bit sweet and you got the vegetable mm, it's okay now the fish the fish there doesn't really taste like fish okay it does have the texture of fish just that it doesn't have the taste of fish and then the luncheon meat mm, the same the texture of luncheon meat but it doesn't have the saltiness and meaty flavor from luncheon meat and if you're gonna mix up the chili in wind with the rice eaten with a bit of the enoki mushroom and peanuts yep mm. okay okay i can see how that you no know, that could be an, a nasi lemak flavor mm. that's not bad actually the nasi lemak here is okay especially if you are looking for a uh, how do you call this vegetarian version without chicken wing this place here quite similar the most similar that I've eaten to a actual hawker dish is this nasi lemak. Next up will be the brani, nasi brani. But overall, I think mm, quite tasty, quite nice. I would come back here just to eat the nasi lemak. Quite nice and quite tasty and quite yummy. And so this brings us to the end of our vegetarian food adventure. Yes, a vegetarian food adventure. But, so, yes, so, if you come to this place here, uh, Amoy Street Food Center is closed, you want to find out other things to eat, this is another alternative that you can come, if you have a hankering for vegetarian food, you can come here and get some vegetarian food. Yep, vegetarian food. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this adventure. As per usual, like, share and subscribe. I got Patreon, I got PayPal, support me on those. Or just watch some of my old videos. I got lots of videos where I visit all the different food centers in Singapore and explore the hawker food there. Vegetarian and normal hawker food. Non-vegetarian one. And as per usual, you know what to do. Uh, don't forget to join me for my next food adventure. I will see you all around. Bye-bye.